a brand new generation of Toyota 4Runners is about to begin. The revered yet dated 5th generation 4Runner will be replaced by the 6th generation vehicle, which Toyota is currently hard at work designing. To keep up with the competition, Toyota could have updated and enhanced the 5th generation 4Runner. However, it's likely that the company didn't see the need to do so for a vehicle that outsold its rivals. The 4Runner needed a significant redesign, albeit a decline in sales in 2022 likely made Toyota realize this. The Ford Bronco, which sold more than 10,000 more units than the 4Runner in the first quarter of 2023, is one of the cars eroding sales of the 4Runner. To recover its position as America's preferred midsize SUV, the 6th generation must outperform the Ford Bronco. 10 ways the new 4Runner could defeat the Ford Bronco are the following. Number 10. There should be more cargo and passenger space in the new 4Runner. In terms of cargo and passenger space, the 4Runner now has an advantage over the Bronco, and it is anticipated that this advantage will grow with the release of the new 4Runner. Five passengers can be accommodated in two rows in the 4Runner and Bronco as standard. A third row of seats may be added to the 4Runner into separate pieces. Cargo space in the 4Runner is decreased to 9 cubic feet by the optional third row. With the second row of seats folded down, the cargo volume rises to 89.7 cubic feet from 47.2 cubic feet when the third row is not in use. A maximum of 77.6 cubic feet can be stored in the cargo area of the Bronco. More length and width are anticipated in the 6th generation 4Runner than in the 5th. There should be more space for both freight and passengers as a result. Number 9. The new 4Runner will probably tow more weight. The Bronco is already outclassed by the 5th generation 4Runner in towing capacity. The current 4Runner has a towing capacity of 5,000 pounds, while the most powerful Ford Bronco has a maximum towing capacity of 4,500 pounds. Due to the anticipated rise in torque and horsepower, the Toyota 4Runner 6th generation should be able to tow heavier loads. The slow but dependable 4.0-liter V6 that has propelled the 4Runner since 2009 is probably going to be replaced by something else by Toyota. Number 8. There ought to be more standard driver assistance features in the new 4Runner. Rear view cameras, forward collision warning, lane departure warning, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, rear cross traffic alert, and forward automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection are just a few of the numerous driver assistance features that Toyota includes as standard in the current 4Runner. The updated SafetySense 3.0 system from Toyota, which replaces the already excellent 2.0 and 2.5 Plus systems, is anticipated to be included in the 2025 4Runner. Receiving over-the-air updates is one of the new functions that Toyota Sense 3.0 will add as well as enhance from its current features. Toyota can remotely enhance the system thanks to it. The Toyota 4Runner is anticipated to include the majority of the Safety Sense 3.0 system's capabilities as standard equipment. The Bronco's driver assistance system is already lacking in functions compared to the fifth generation Toyotas, and only a few are available as standard. With the installation of the brand new Safety Sense 3.0 system, the 4Runner should surpass the Bronco in terms of basic driver assistance features. Number 7. Rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive drivetrains ought to be offered for the 4Runner. The fifth-generation 4Runner is offered with either rear-wheel drive or four-wheel drive drivetrain depending on the model. With the sixth-generation 4Runner, Toyota is anticipated to maintain the same strategy. Toyota gives customers the option to select the drivetrain they like by providing rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. The Ford Bronco comes standard with four-wheel drive and all-trim levels. The rear-wheel drive option is recommended for 4Runner drivers who like to have fun. The rear-wheel drive drive train's disadvantage is that it performs less well off-road than the four-wheel drive engine. Drivers who want to test the new 4Runner's off-road capabilities should choose models with four-wheel drive. Number 6. The 4Runner is most likely going to be a better off-roader. Off-road, the fifth-generation 4Runner outperforms the Ford Bronco thanks to Toyota's tried-and-true body-on-frame design. The sixth-generation 4Runner is anticipated to have enhancements that will put it in a separate class when the going gets tough. 
The TNG AF2 platform from Toyota should be used in the 4Runner, which should enhance the driving characteristics of the car. Additionally, the 4Runner is anticipated to have off-road hardware and features, like a disconnectable sway bar, skid plates, multi-terrain select, and others, that are similar to those found on the Tacoma TRD Pro and give greater off-road performance. Toyota ought to continue using the sturdy rear independent suspension system that has served the 4Runner so well for many years. Number 5. 4Runner ought to be more stable. Similar to the second generation Sequoia, the fifth generation 4Runner has a shortcoming that makes it unstable on paved roads. The suspension is made for off-road dominance, but it doesn't work as well on highways. Like it did with the third generation Sequoia, Toyota will undoubtedly adjust and tweak the suspension of the next 4Runner to find a sweet spot that gives stability on paved roads without compromising the car's off-roading performance. The 4Runner should ride more comfortably as a result of the anticipated modifications. The new 4Runner should be more stable than the Ford Bronco since it has a suspension that has been rebalanced. Number 4. Most likely, the Toyota 4Runner will be more fuel efficient. The 270 horsepower V6 in the long-lasting 4Runner was dependable but noisy and thirsty. The 4Runner was sluggish when coupled with its antiquated 5-speed automatic transmission. Better acceleration should be provided by the 2.4-liter turbocharged engine that will power the following generation of 4Runners when coupled with an 8-speed automated transmission. Toyota is also anticipated to provide the new 4Runner with a formidable hybrid powertrain. The 4Runner's stress and thirst should be alleviated by this new unit. Both the Ford Bronco and the 5th generation 4Runner are rated at 20 miles per gallon in the city and 22 miles per gallon on the highway, with the 4Runner getting 16 miles per gallon on city roads and 19 miles per gallon on the highway. The Ford Bronco, which comes standard with a 300 horsepower 2.3 liter turbocharged engine, should be less fuel efficient than the new 4Runner, especially one equipped with the hybrid drivetrain. Number 3. The 4Runner ought to feature Toyota's unrivaled dependability. The 4Runner's unfailing dependability was among the factors that stopped customers from abandoning the car despite its outdated design and equipment. In a JD Power research from February 2022, Toyota was ranked as the fifth most trustworthy automaker, making it one of the most dependable automobile companies. For it took the 16th position. Before having a problem, the Toyota 4Runner could keep going forever. No matter what humans or the elements threw at it, the vehicle's engine, a simple 4.0-liter V6, just kept running. Due to the anticipated adoption of a more delicate hybrid powertrain, there are worries that the 4Runner's reliability would suffer. But Toyota has long demonstrated that it can build dependable automobiles. As a result, it is anticipated that the 6th generation 4Runner will be just as dependable as its 4Runners. Number 2. The 4Runner probably offers more value for the money. Compared to the Ford Bronco, the new 4Runner should be a better value. Like it did with the new Toyota Tacoma, Toyota may sell a trail hunter version of the new 4Runner. In comparison to the most costly Bronco, it should be more reasonably priced and come with many more features than the Ford. Particularly among lovers of overlanding, the 4Runner's trail hunter model is anticipated to be highly popular. We anticipate the 4Runner Trail Hunter will have old man emu OME suspension, which enhances off-roading and increases the vehicle's carrying capabilities, a greater ground clearance than less expensive models, and top-tier underbody protection. These features are based on the Tacoma Trail Hunter's attributes. Number 1. The 4Runner's infotainment system will likely be superior. The infotainment system in the 5th generation 4Runner was significantly behind the competition, despite being easy to use and functional. The 6th generation 4Runner is likely to feature numerous changes, and its infotainment system is anticipated to resemble that of the most recent Toyota Tacoma. So, depending on the model, the 4Runner will probably sport a digital gauge cluster and an 8 to 14 inch infotainment touchscreen. It will probably have Wi-Fi hotspot, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay. The 4Runner should have real, easy-to-reach controls that regulate a variety of features, including as music volume and climate control, just like other models. The 4Runner could compete favorably with its rivals thanks to the anticipated new infotainment system. The Ford Bronco should, however, lose out against it because of the anticipated preservation of tactile controls. 
Drivers ought to be able to make adjustments without using the touchscreen menus thanks to the easily accessible and intuitive buttons. It will probably turn out that the Forerunner's fusion of modern and antiquated design is brilliant. And so, what do you think of the 6th Gen Toyota 4Runner? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.